Wow! Okay, another fun experiment with di different colours which I will put up um, as I'm editing the video. Uh, they're mostly mixed colours so I can't give you an exact brand and colour. But uh, no, this has come out mm, very nicely. Quite a nice little experiment and um, as you would have noticed near the beginning I didn't want to torch so I banged the painting a couple of times to bring the bubbles up to the surface. So now just using the torch to bring up any cells that might be in there or lacing. Uh, before I started putting the paints down I got a toothbrush and some uh, silicone and flicked it onto the canvas to um, to just have the silicone on the bare canvas to, for it to come through to see what would happen. So now I'm going to walk away for a little while and leave it to develop, see what cells might come through. Well, <clears throat> the silicone that I originally put on the bare canvas has certainly developed well. There's some <laughs> serious cells going on there. They might not be perfect round cells, but they're still pretty. They're cells that I like. They've brought the colours through. And now I'm going to bring the picture up closer to the light for you to be able to have a look at. If I can unstick the leg of my painting there. <laughs> ah, gosh. Okay. So there we go. I really like the little pink patches in there of the lacing and the coppery colour which is created using wine red and uh, 24k gold colours and the black which has of course blended and made the grey which I really really like too because it reminds me of the Payne's grey and a little neon pink showing through with all those blues. So that is my creation for today and my little experiment of just putting the um, silicone down onto the canvas before I started putting the paint over it. And it's quite a while since I've done flip cut pours like that too, so I really enjoyed doing that. And that's it for me for today. Once again, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.